Welcome back to the channel. Today we're going to be looking at a weathering tutorial. Yes, we're going to weather the Solo Speeder. Now I picked this up recently. It was originally like £30 and it was on clearance to like £10. Um, and I've weathered quite a few things in my time. All of my vehicles for my diorama props um, and, and photography props uh, I've, I've weathered. Um, so I wanted to kind of pick this up uh, as something to show you so that I could weather it and show you the process. Um, I really would recommend weathering things like this. Um, obviously if it's you know a grey old piece that you really don't want to touch or um, it's something that is very very expensive I understand wanting to take paint to it but for example with this it's a nice cheap and easy one it's it's uh, you know it's just £10 and it scales perfectly to kind of like the Funko Pop kind of look so I thought I'd I'd shoot for this as a, as a tutorial to show you. Now as you can kind of see from the speeder it's just the bog standard speeder you know it looks exactly like the one on screen but I mean the details not there you can tell this is just a plasticky kind of replica and obviously the engine parts and stuff like that it's just block silver they've you know they've made a mold and then it's just been printed in silver or grey um, and put on this vehicle. Now what we're going to do today is we're going to be throwing some um, acrylic paint in there with some surgical spirits and we're going to be weathering it, um, putting a wash on, taking it off and really throwing some definition into those pieces like the, the engine um, and the surrounding body. Okay, so what we're going to do first is we're going to take our mixing pot and we're going to take a little bit of black acrylic paint. Now, if you're going to use other colours like browns and sandy colours for, you know, like a Tatooine kind of um, land speeder or something like that, um, or, you know, you want to just make it look um, however you want to make it look, I would recommend going in with a black first because weathering is typically done with uh, black paint. Now what you're going to do is you're going to get a little bit of paint in there and then we're going to put some surgical spirits in. It's probably going to be sort of 10-20% spirit to paint but basically you need to do it by eye, you need to find a soupy smooth texture so obviously like I'm doing here just mix that in and then wait until you're happy. If it's too watery put some more paint in, if it's not watery enough you know, more surgical spirit or water. I would recommend getting yourself some gloves because it will get messy and although it will come off um, with a good scrub, you know, you're gonna save your hands um, some trouble there. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna just start by washing the, the wash all over the detailed parts, starting with this engine um, part here, and then we're dabbing it in all of the crevices um, and then we're going to come in with the paper towel dab away excess paint straight away and then we're going to swipe away paint and typically I would go with the directional rule um, you know this speeder front to back uh, typically is going forward very fast so swipe in the direction that the, the vehicle would go or for example if it's a figure or a diorama piece kind of use your best judgment of where the grime would be heading and trailing and then you're going to just repeat this process throughout whatever you're weathering. And basically what we're trying to achieve here is we're trying to get the oily kind of grime looking um, paint into these cracks and crevices so that the, 
the mold that comes from the factory, just the base grey, for example, engine parts that don't really show you much definition and they're not very realistic. We want to get all up in there uh, and kind of make it look grimy and then wash, wash that on and wipe that away so that all of the excess comes away but the detail stays in all the cracks and it really shows some definition and makes it really look realistic and basically you're just going to do that for all the parts now you can just do you know particular parts you can just weather the underside um, creeping up to the sides and the front maybe or just the engine part um, and just keep some of the other parts clean if that's what you want to do for this I want to kind of look like you know this speeder is in everyday use and has been around you know it's been um smuggling and all that sort of thing it's been in chases you know i want it to look um weathered all over so i'm going for the all over approach but obviously i'm starting with the starting with the detail of the engine and stuff first and sort of seeing what kind of look i'm going to go for how how many times i need to go in that sort of thing but moving forward i'm just going to go round check all of the details make sure i've not missed anything and then move on to the kind of the bigger parts like the bonnet and stuff like that towards the end uh, just make sure that the detail of the the kind of engine parts and stuff is done first you know the wires the cogs all that sort of thing and like with the exhaust vents and all that sort of thing you want to get in there first so that it can kind of dry you can move on to the other parts and then come back to it if you need to um, and not be lifting any of the original paint Depending on what it is, sometimes it's a little bit harder to get your brush in there. I would recommend just going with a smaller brush and just taking your time. If it's a huge piece, um, like when I weathered my six inch X-Wing, um, you know, you can go in with a big brush initially and cover a lot of ground and then go in with a smaller brush if you like um, to get those extra details you couldn't really fit the, the big brush in with um, but I would recommend if in if in you know in doubt if, if anything just go in with a smaller brush um, it's a lot easier in terms of just take your time and get that paint all up in there you know I mean you really want to get it everywhere um, so make sure you do that
so there we have it and as you can see it looks fantastic it just looks so much better when you weather vehicles i mean this was a, a you know a cheap pickup just to show you kind of what this does but i've done this with all of my all of my vehicles and diorama pieces um, and obviously, obviously as you can see there it just looks so much better hung on there showing you just how uh, realistic and, and great it looks so hope you enjoyed this video guys see you in the next one